In my mind's eye, I extend my hand, and with each touch, the tree yields fruits of prosperity. Each fruit symbolizes a different aspect of success, financial stability, career achievement, and personal fulfillment. The air is filled with the melody of abundance, like a harmonious symphony of dreams coming to fruition. Not far from this enchanting scene, a gentle river meanders through the landscape. Its clear waters represent the constant flow of wealth and opportunities. A reminder that prosperity is not static but a dynamic force that moves and adapts. Donation Wrap Reporting Live Mama Rap is looking for Toddler Rap He took a cookie out the cookie jar. Like, share and subscribe, comment. I am open to my blessings if you agree so far. Donations are accepted. In the theater of my mind, on the stage of my imagination, I embrace this immersive. Visualization is more than a scene. It is a powerful affirmation planting the seeds of prosperity deep within my subconscious comments i declare i will give my all to the small steps because i know that slow is swift and swift is smooth you are the gem of god's eye so shine bright sun face Comment. That's for me too. See you include yourself with blessings. Let it be so that prosperity and health flows jam packed into my essence as I embrace my day. We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Epictetus. Comment the statement. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Now say it to yourself silently. Tell yourself how you feel. Like, share and subscribe. Donations are accepted. Let's declare that this is a marathon. Let's finish biceps hooray. Strong and persevere. Stop looking outside yourself for answers. You already know them. Guilt is a normal feeling. Just breathe in and let it go. 0110, meaning, belief system. Go after what you want. Unique, destiny, inspiration, talents, gifts, appreciation and gratitude. You're blessed with talents and skills. That make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. 
Embrace what makes you different. That's your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true. O303. Taking chances. Success. Knowledge. Friendship. Impatience. Freedom. Optimism. When chances are present, seize them and do something out of the ordinary. Like, share and subscribe. Comment, I am free from my setbacks. The journey wasn't the smoothest or the most pleasant lately. But everything is coming together. Your patience, strength, and perseverance will soon be rewarded. The wait is almost over. Hold on. Trust yourself always. Trust others, once they, earned it. One thousand three hundred thirteen. Starting fresh. Encouragement. Goals. Foundations and creative ventures. Communication. Step outside your comfort zone. You are about to create something meaningful. Comment. All my skills and talents will bring me auspicious profits. Like, share and subscribe. Build up your confidence. Trust in your decisions. Comment. I want my snacky snack to bring your manifestations. Comparing yourself to others Keeps you stuck in a cycle Of guilt and shame As it continues to separate you from your blessings It keeps you small Understanding that everyone has their own journey which always unfolds in divine timing. Your time will come. Type 1616 in the comments to bring readjustments into your life. Don't worry, everything you've been waiting for is on its way. Progress is being made, even if you can't see the results. Book 1, The Knucklehead Chronicles, Jeffrey Jerome Price's Path to Transformation Chapter 1, I Am Sorry Story 1, The Reconciliation of Partners Jeffrey Jerome Price had always been the big ideas guy, the dreamer who saw potential where others saw obstacles. His former business partner, Mike, was the pragmatic one who kept their ventures grounded. Together, they started a small tech company that initially thrived. However, their clashing styles eventually led to a bitter split, with each blaming the other for the company's downfall. Years later, Jeffrey spotted Mike at a tech conference. Memories of their partnership, the highs, and the lows, flooded back. Summoning his courage, Jeffrey approached Mike. He knew he had to apologize, but as usual, Jeffrey being Jeffrey, he couldn't just do it the normal way. 
he had to make it complicated. Jeffrey decided to make his grand apology in a way Mike would never forget. He bought a giant cake, intending to burst out of it in a surprise gesture. He spent the entire night baking it himself because, of course, he thought it added a personal touch. On the day of the conference, Jeffrey hid inside the cake, waiting for the right moment to make his entrance. But, as luck would have it, the temperature inside the cake was rising rapidly. By the time Mike approached, Jeffrey was sweating bullets and could barely breathe. Mike walked by, and Jeffrey made his move. With a mighty push, he burst out of the cake, shouting, I'm sorry, Mike. But instead of a grand entrance, he stumbled, tripping over the edge of the cake and landing face-first on the floor. The cake toppled over, covering him in frosting and crumbs. The entire room fell silent, everyone staring in shock at the scene. Mike, trying to hold back laughter, helped Jeffrey to his feet. Jeffrey, what on earth are you doing? Mike asked, still chuckling. Jeffrey, covered in cake and feeling utterly ridiculous, stammered, I, I wanted to apologize for everything. I know I messed up, and I didn't appreciate your perspective. Can we talk? Mike, wiping tears of laughter from his eyes, nodded. You always did have a flair for the dramatic. Let's find a quiet spot. They found a quiet corner and talked for hours, acknowledging their mistakes and the strengths each brought to their partnership. Despite the absurdity of the situation, Jeffrey's sincere apology opened the door to a new collaboration. They combined Jeffrey's visionary ideas with Mike's practical execution, leading to a successful venture that became a beacon of innovation in the tech industry. Their renewed partnership thrived, demonstrating the power of acknowledging one's mistakes and seeking forgiveness. Jeffrey's apology not only mended their professional relationship but also rekindled their friendship, proving that sometimes, a heartfelt I'm sorry can pave the way to great things, even if it comes covered in cake. Story 2. Family Healing Jeffrey Jerome Price hadn't spoken to his family in years. Misunderstandings and pride had driven a wedge between them, and silence had become a way of life. But as he sat alone in his apartment, Jeffrey felt the weight of the estrangement more than ever. He realized that his own healing and well-being required addressing the past. Gathering his courage, Jeffrey decided to visit his family. The sight of his childhood home brought back a flood of memories. He knocked on the door, his heart pounding. His mother answered, her eyes widening in surprise. Jeffrey had planned to deliver his apology in the most heartfelt way possible. However, true to his knucklehead nature, he decided to make it a grand spectacle. He brought along a boombox and a handwritten apology letter, which he planned to read out loud while playing a cheesy 80s power ballad in the background. Mom, I'm sorry for the hurt I've caused. I've missed you all so much. Can we talk? The words tumbled out, but as he pressed play on the boombox, nothing happened. Jeffrey fumbled with the buttons, growing increasingly flustered. His mother watched, half amused and half bewildered, as Jeffrey's frustration mounted. Darn it! Hold on, Mom. I wanted this to be perfect, Jeffrey muttered, finally getting the music to start. The opening chords of Total Eclipse of the Heart blared out, startling his mother and making the neighbors peek out their windows. Jeffrey, now visibly sweating, unfolded his apology letter. But as he began to read, a gust of wind snatched the paper from his hands and sent it fluttering down the street. Jeffrey took off after it, the boombox still blaring the dramatic ballad. After a comedic chase involving a small dog, a sprinkler system, and a surprised mailman, Jeffrey returned to his mother's doorstep, out of breath and empty-handed. The letter was lost, but he stood there, cake batter from his previous mishap still clinging to his shirt. Mom, he gasped, I didn't need the letter or the music. I just needed to say I'm sorry. 
I was wrong. I let pride get in the way, and I've missed you all so much. His mother's eyes softened. With tears in her eyes, she pulled him into a hug. They spent the evening talking, sharing their sides of the story, and slowly rebuilding the trust that had been broken. Jeffrey's apology healed not only himself but also his entire family. The renewed bonds provided emotional support that enriched Jeffrey's life, leading to better mental health and a sense of belonging that had been missing. Despite his comical attempts and the chaotic scene, his genuine apology brought about emotional healing and support that transformed their relationships. Story 3 Community Leader's Redemption in His Small Town Jeffrey Jerome Price had lost the community's faith after a series of poor decisions and failed projects. The town was divided, and progress had come to a standstill. Jeffrey realized that his pride and refusal to listen had been at the root of many problems. Determined to make amends in his own unique way, Jeffrey decided to turn his apology into a public spectacle. He planned a town hall meeting, complete with a live stream for those who couldn't attend in person. And because he was Jeffrey, he decided to deliver his apology through a rap performance. On the day of the meeting, the town hall was packed, and hundreds more tuned in online. Jeffrey stepped up to the makeshift stage, wearing a flashy outfit that included a glittering gold jacket and oversized sunglasses. He took a deep breath, grabbed the mic, and started his rap, Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Jeff P., I messed up, and I'm here to say sorry. Made some bad calls, didn't hear your plea, but now I'm back, and I'm down on one knee. As he rapped, the crowd watched in a mix of amusement and surprise. Jeffrey's rhymes were clunky, and his dance moves were more awkward than impressive, but his sincerity shone through. The beat dropped, and Jeffrey launched into the chorus, I'm a skin for forgiveness, let's start anew, together we can fix it, me and you. Let's rebuild this town, make it shine, with unity and trust, we'll be just fine. Then, in a stroke of his usual comedic genius, Jeffrey added a segment urging the viewers to engage with the video, hey, hey. If you're feeling this rap, like, share, comment, and give us a clap. Hit that subscribe, don't miss a beat, join our journey, it's gonna be sweet. The live chat exploded with laughing emojis, thumbs ups, and supportive comments. Despite the corny delivery, people were touched by Jeffrey's effort. He finished his rap with a heartfelt plea, I'm sorry for the pain, for the strife, let's work together, let's change this life. I need your help, let's make it right, with your support, we'll reach new heights. The room fell silent for a moment, then slowly, one by one, people began to clap. His apology was the first step in mending the fractured relationships. The community rallied together, inspired by Jeffrey's humility and his unique way of reaching out. The comments and shares from the livestream brought more attention to their town's plight, leading to donations and support from outside the community. Together, they initiated projects that revitalized the town, leading to economic growth and a stronger, more united community. Jeffrey's apology, though unconventional, not only restored his credibility but also fostered a spirit of cooperation and mutual respect that benefited everyone. His humorous yet sincere rap became a viral sensation, turning their town's story into an inspiring example of redemption and unity. Like, and subscribe. Thank you. Don't Overthink by Super Fun. Don't overthink. Don't like, overthink. share, and subscribe. Thank you.
Life is about to start to move quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have suddenly propelled forward. Move with the flow and be mindful of what needs your attention most. Comment 1414 to embrace a lighter perspective to life from desires, life goals and more. Bet on yourself, take chances, reach your dreams, you've got this. Live your life with both feet in. Commit fully to being here. Comment 2121 for prosperity. Harmony and perseverance. You are safe. You are protected. The worst is behind you and you are ready to move beyond the challenges that were set for you. Lessons have been learned. What has your inner voice been asking you? Listen and ACT. Comment 888 for balance, finance and success, wealth cycles. If you find yourself constantly seeing reoccurring numbers, OR words, it is a sign that you are being supported, cared for, and divinely protected by the universe. Beautiful things are present for you. The universe is always speaking to you and sending you signs. When you feel like you are alone in a situation, just know that you never truly are. So stop look around and believe in something else, something more. Find ways to lighten up and not take 
makes everything so serious. Comment 0330 to unlock your lucky shirt. Pursue your goals. Get what you want. Like and subscribe. In the theater of my mind, on the stage of my imagination, I see myself standing in a radiant field, bathed in golden sunlight. The air is filled with an energy of abundance, and a gentle breeze carries whispers of prosperity. Before me, a majestic tree stands tall, its branches adorned with shimmering golden leaves, symbolizing wealth and prosperity. As I walk closer, I notice that the ground beneath is covered in a lush carpet of vibrant green grass, representing the fertile ground for financial growth. I envision myself reaching out and plucking fruits of prosperity from the branches, each one a symbol of success, fulfillment, and financial well-being. The air is filled with the sweet scent of accomplishment and the sound of abundance flowing like a gentle stream. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment. I am open to my blessings if you agree so far. In this visualization, I am surrounded by symbols of prosperity. A flowing river nearby represents the constant stream of wealth. Like, subscribe. Thank you.